Alright, what is going on guys? Today we are watching Reincarnated as a Slime Season 2 Episode 8. I've got nothing to say before the start of the episode, but as always, like the video if you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And let's get into the episode right now. Damn, you took a heart. Shout out to Trafalgar Law. <laughs> yeah, it is. God damn. Definitely seems like a war is going to break out. Yeah, it's fair enough, like. <laughs> Rimuru is a very fair ruler. Hopefully there's times where he's uh, not going to be fair in a sense as well, as a ruler should be. <laughs> yeah, you're goddamn right. <laughs> Anything can be done with Glonny. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What happened to Shion? Where is she? Is she okay? Oh, shit. Don't show me these bodies. Where is she? Where's Shion? Shut the fuck up. Gobzo, too, bruh. You're fucking joking. No, no goddamn way. There is no fucking way that Shion is dead. What? What? I don't fucking believe it. Oh my fucking god. Yeah, please go ballistic. Oh, Rumuru, you're really fucking patient right now. Oh my god. Losing Shion and Gobzo in this situation, bro. You better just... Like I said in the last episode, just go nuke that fucking place. Are you serious? Bro, no way is the show off two main characters like this. As if. Is he gonna... Oh, he made a new one? Why? No, it wasn't. Oh, God. Rimuru. I guess you can't have all the answers for him. Oh, Rimuru, man. Oh, of course not, but, like, fuck. Yeah. Oh. Oh, this is some bullshit, man. Oh, uh. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on! We don't need to lose a single person. Come on. <laughs> God damn it. What do we have to do? Eddie. <laughs> when does this happen? When does, um... When do the dead bodies kind of decay on their own and uh, return to magic kills? Um, like, it's interesting to, find, to know that the uh, the bodies won't just rot and potentially cause disease or something like that, because that's something I figured might have happened. Because, um, you know, it was a problem in this in these kind of times back in the past. The bodies would rot, disease obviously would spread. But obviously there's a thing for it in this world where they just kind of turn back into magic, which is pretty cool. Except when does that happen? Because that means we have kind of a time limit uh, on this uh, potentially reviving the dead kind of strategy. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. Eddie. <laughs> can never hear the name Aaron. We're just like going, Eddie. A dragon, you say? Remember, you need to take some advice from this guy. Well, maybe not that much, but, you know. She kind of looks like Millen. That is Millen. Interesting. Does this mean you have to become a demon, Lord Remember? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, okay, so we can stop the souls from going. The same as pie, yeah. <laughs> but that's not nothing. Rimuru's really going to become a demon lord? Holy shit. Eddie! <laughs> Eddie on Grimwald. Ooh. Nice. I know my real name's Erian, but uh, I'll still call her Erin because it's easy to say. 
So what I'm getting from the situation is, and correct me if I'm wrong, um, basically what Rimuru has to do to become a demon lord is do exactly what I wanted him to do <laughs> and take down the kingdom. <laughs> I'm okay with this. I can't wait. <laughs> you have good friends too, Rimuru. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, third Barry. Yeah, okay, that's smart. Yeah, just to be on the safe side. Oof. Couldn't imagine the individual name Rimuru has already acquired the... Oh, really? What does that mean? Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. Bro, I cannot imagine the power of Rimuru as a demon lord. Holy crap. Hold on. Oh, I know where you can get 10,000 uh, soldiers from. Souls from. Perfect. You only have to kill 10,000 of them. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go and wipe him out. I thought he was looking at the, the people of the town then thinking he was going to take their souls. But this is good. We like this. Soldiers, uh, it's their job to die. It's fine. Oh. Why does she say she needs to die? Oh. Damn. I think they're taking what Rimuru has said out of context. I think he means it in a different way. I think he means it in a different way. Um, He didn't actually... He hasn't actually impaled her, though. What has he done? What? Oh... <laughs> He gave, he gave her a heart. Uh huh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> nice. Okay. So he gave her an artificial heart because the other one was a bug. Nice. Nice. So it, she she doesn't have to go and get her other heart then. That's insane. Rimuru is so crazy. You can make artificial hearts. <laughs> yeah. It's it's nothing big. Just has to kill 10,000 soldiers and then uh, become a demon, demon lord. And there's like a 3% chance, but should be fine. Aww. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Sorry, bro. <laughs> Imagine. Whoa! <laughs> Alright, leave it to me. What? <laughs> Yuma's been getting carried. God damn. He's like, alright, you defeated this uh, great whatever it was that he defeated, and now he's gonna be made king. Damn. That's gonna be awesome having Yuma as a king. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> so he can marry his, like, wife. <laughs> Hell yeah. Fuck yeah, let's go. God, I hope this works. Oh, okay. Alright, alright, alright. Ah, the end of the episode. Oh, that felt like two minutes. Holy crap. So, that was Season 2, Episode 8 of uh, Reincarnated as a Slime. That was, it was unexpected. I mean, it was kind of unexpected. I feel like um, the severity of what how the knights invaded Tempest without Rimuru there, I feel like it was fair that it was the people we lost were the people that we lost. It's just surprising, like, Gobza, I could understand. Uh, he's kind of a somewhat of a main character almost. He's kind of like there's Rimuru, and then there's uh, like Shion and Betty Manu and all them, and then there's like Gobto, Gobza kind of thing. Maybe Gobza's like upper level of uh, in terms of main characters, but Gobza's still like he's still a really nice character, and like it, it was hard even just seeing him, the fact that he died and how he died and protecting the princess, and then and then we see Shion, and that just kind of like that hit. That that like really hit and that that hurt. And personally, 
it would have been fine if she, if it I mean there's still only a 3% chance that she comes back to life now if Rimuru man- manages to become a demon lord but it still would have been fine in terms of story if she had died it just kind of felt too fast in my opinion to have someone like Shion being such a strong and capable main character that she is dying um, but I'm glad there's the chance to bring them back and not only that hopefully the other casualties of Tempest as well because they didn't deserve it you know like I'd understand if they did die they were casualties of war and they won't be forgotten but they didn't deserve it they they were taught by Rimuru not to attack humans so they couldn't really even defend themselves even though a lot of them probably were capable of um, but it'd be nice you know the people of Tempest don't deserve it and I just really want this to go well. Um, the potentially the potential of having Rimuru as a demon lord sounds insane. The fact that Milim, uh, we got some backstory about Milim is cool. Uh, and then to top it all off, Mulan uh, New might become kind of king and queen of a kingdom. That's awesome to think about. But yeah. Overall, a really good episode, and I really enjoyed it. So, anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day, and peace out.